So what we have in front of us is Kodak, and I'm gonna go over the main features of this UI here. Uh, it is vectoral, so it does, you know, stretch. There you go. It's pretty decent. It works pretty decent in Ableton Live. Uh, here is the track that we're gonna use. This Kodak is not on. And when I turn it on, that's when you will discover that it's a bit crusher. And, and don't worry, guys. I know you want to hear this on different instruments and not on the master. But uh, let's introduce you to the first section, which is loss. And with loss on, you lose stuff. That is 100% dependent on which mode that you select. So let's go into random mode. Let's go smooth. Now let's play with them all. And as you can hear, this is gonna be real special on different instruments, especially drums. So yeah, bit rate, which clearly controls the bit rate. And it sounds remarkable to be honest on the master once you get control of the bit rate and mess with loss. Uh, you have bandwidth. And to be honest, I have no damn clue of what that does. Uh, but I can hear something. It's, it's like it's widening some uh, of this frequency that's coming in. Then you have crunch. which clearly pushes the signal and it kind of like uh, side chains or actually like brick wall. So anyways, limiting uh, frequency. And then with. All that stuff happens at random and I like, that's what I like about this free plugin so far. So the string section in this beat is cold blooded, I swear. And I have Kodak on right now, so let's go ahead and hear that. I'm gonna solo. Now let's turn Kodak on. Oh, so now I'm starting to see what's going on here. So crunch is tied into here and that's tied into that. And I didn't know, so whoopsies. And if it sounds like it's skipping, that is the actual effect itself doing that. And that's part of the loss unsolo. I'm not a fan of how it sounds like on the strings. It's pretty cool, but I'm gonna try it on the kick and the clap. I'm gonna put it on the kick right here. Let's get it. And I'm not sure if that's like the plugin being having delay compensation issues, but man, it kind of sounds cool that it's offbeat like that, but not so much for this example. Let's go ahead and. Yep, 
Yeah, you can clearly hear that there's a little bit of lag when you use this plugin uh, in that instance. And it's not bad. It's not a bad effect. Here's the clap. Let's go ahead and. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mother. Pretty cool free plugin. Kind of bugged out that, you know, it has a little bit of delay issues when you're using it in your DAW. I mean, it's kind of worthless on drums. Uh, it sounds good though. It sounds extremely good for like lo-fi, if you don't mind having a delay. So it might be best to use it on the master.